we all have been dealing with a lot since the pandemic has started. Indian healthcare workers are trying their best to control the situation. National Institute of Disaster Management encourages you to take the preventive measures against the coronavirus. Always wear a mask and sanitize your hands frequently. Also follow all the protocols of social distancing. Get yourself vaccinated from your nearest vaccination center. Until then, stay home and stay safe. A warm welcome to all the participants from uh, Sikkim State Disaster Management Authority and a special uh, welcome to Professor VK Sharma, uh, the Vice Chairman of Sikkim State Disaster Management Authority and Mr. Figo Bhatti, Additional Director, Sikkim State Disaster Management Authority. And all the participants from uh, the four districts of uh, uh, the Sikkim uh, State, uh, I heartily welcome for this one day orientation training program. Uh, wherein we would be discussing on the integrities of the IDRN portal and what we uh, we have uh, just uh, made this, uh, we have come live with the new IDRN portal on 1st of June 2020. And we will be uh, discussing and we'll be sharing uh, the new uh, uh, IDRN portal uh, with you. What are the features in that IDRN portal and how the database is to be updated. So on behalf of uh, uh, our executive director, I again welcome all the uh, nominated uh, from Sikkim State for a virtual training on India Disaster Response Network. Uh, the uh, as we all know how important is the inventory and the resources management. It is the uh, foremost requirement for any disaster manager uh, to make uh, the inventory available to the first responders at the time of disaster or emergency. And so is the case in the uh, state of uh, Sikkim as we are prone. Um, to various kinds of emergency situations. So uh, for the resource managers, it is very important for um, uh, this inventory uh, to be updated at all times uh, to be utilized for, and um, it, it will save many lives in the times of disasters. Uh, with this, uh, I would uh, request uh, our executive director, Major Manoj Kumar Bindal to give a keynote address. Uh, before he uh, starts his address, I would uh, just like to give a brief about the here. He has a general major Manoj Kumar Bindal, which is Seva Medal, was uh, uh, commissioned into Army Air Defense and it has a uh, has more than 33 years of experience. Uh, and uh, with this, he has a uh, experience in handling uh, the disaster management aspects, uh, all the aspects of disaster management. He took over uh, as ED of NIDM in June 2019. And he is working with uh, the vision of an IDM to strive relentlessly towards making a disaster free India by developing and promoting a culture of prevention and preparedness in, at all levels. So, uh, in uh, when uh, this uh, idea and portal uh, uh, was handed over to uh, an IDM in the year 2008, but after 2008, RED took upon himself in October 2019 to uh, make this network. Um, much more resilient and much more user friendly so that it, it can be utilized during the times of the disasters. With this, I would uh, request uh, our executive director, Major General Manoj Kumar Bindal, to give his uh, keynote address to the participants from Kim State. Thank you, Colonel Dinesh Vashest, uh, for organizing this program. And a special thank to all the dignitaries from us, uh, Sing, uh, Sikkim. And a special uh, welcome to uh, Professor. VK Sharma, who's been a mentor in Sikkim also, and who's a mentor of NIDM also. So it's a good connect that we are having today with Sikkim. Uh, it is a very important issue on which we are talking about because the, here is a resource which can be used by everyone. Here is a resource, resource which can reduce the expenditure by each department uh, to avoid duplication. And here is a resource which once used properly can save a lot of lives and a lot of efforts. Uh, because uh, it is not important that everyone buys everything and keeps a stock with himself for everything that is required. If it can be moved around from one district to another, and uh, uh, as long as it is available within reach, if the like Sikkim is uh, elongated and they're divided by the 
Central Ridge. So maybe North uh, can have something, East can have something, South can have something. So uh, sectorally, they can plan for resources to be placed, but the, all that information should be available at the click of a button. And that is exactly what IDRN is doing, that at the click of a button, anyone sitting anywhere in India or abroad can just find out which district has what item and from where it can be moved around. So there's no point, no, uh, no uh, dependency on the uh, uh, capacity of the individual to remember, okay, that particular district has this. Here we are giving them a ready-made link where if it is fed in properly, if it, the data is fed properly during normal times, will greatly assist in the coordination effort of any disaster response. This particular uh, site is mostly for disaster response at present. It is not catered for any other issue. It is just that at point of time, suddenly require, uh, uh, say, avalanche rescue equipment. So it is known which all districts have how many and from where it can be flown to that area where it is required. Or any other thing, uh, uh, snow equipment is required, uh, snow scooters are required because Sikkim has these issues, landslide issues, JCBs are required, dozers are required. So everyone has now what is happening, a drive has been is being given to include private and public sector units also because they have a lot of heavy equipment. They have a lot of equipment which can be used for disaster response. So they are being encouraged to feed in the data through the district collector only so that the contact with the district collector is also maintained because finally the onus of uh, uh, dealing with any disaster uh, is on the district authorities, DDMAs. So everyone functions through them. Uh, if it is of a massive scale, then a parallel organization is set up. But as far as possible, it is the DDMAs which uh, need to do. So the format of this IDRN is such that everyone has to approach the district, the data updated. And now with CSR including, includes uh, mitigation efforts, that they can uh, disaster mitigation equipment buy in that. So we can also uh, ask some of the industries in a particular area to buy some heavy equipment, which is difficult to buy through the government channel because of the various rules and regulations and the time penalty that is involved and hence ensure its availability in that area. So this, this is a tool which can be used imaginatively in many ways. And it is a very use, uh, very use. It is very useful. However, what is being seen is that people, uh, the districts are not updating the data. Uh, like two districts in uh, Sikkim are very active, and two districts are not active. Uh, so everyone has to become active for it to be fruitful. Even if the, it is the strength of this uh, idea in portal is the weakest district. Because in a state, if one district data is not there, but the district holds everything, then this system will fail. So it is very important that all the districts must be equally active. All the districts should be feeding in data uh, regularly. It should become a weekly meeting that the district collector has generally everywhere. This should also become one of the updation points where the IDR and the person responsible for IDR and uh, actually uh, shows a presentation of how much has been uh, updated in the last one week, one week by which, which district. And this is done at the state level also. And the SDMAs also take stock of this uh, situation. A dedicated person uh, to be appointed at district level to, to look after the IDRN portal. It should not be an add-on responsibility because it requires a lot of coordination, a lot of running around, a lot of departments are there. He has to get data from each department, list of industries are there with him. He has to run around to each industry, send the list of what all items and what else they have, and then update it, get it in the correct format, then feed it into the uh, portal. And then there are some items which after six months require reconfirmation because they are of uh, nature. Then there are some items which require reconfirmation after one year that it is still there in working condition. So there is a large amount of uh, work required by that uh, uh, person who's responsible for maintaining the database for the district. So he has to be chosen wisely. He has to be on a good uh, pay package to keep him motivated. And he should be allowed to give a presentation every week to the district collector. 
And similarly, at the state level, the SDMA can have one person allocated whose job is that every week on a particular day, he takes out the data for his own district, who has done how much, and he projects it upwards. So that there is a check mechanism, feedback mechanism, and uh, necessary directions can go to the relevant district. Was this I, why I'm uh, speaking on this issues uh, because the success depends upon this. Even if one district uh, does not do well, it uh, brings down all others' efforts. Uh, so I will be requ I'll request uh, Professor V.K. Sharma, who's now vice chairman of the SGMA, that uh, he has to institute a measure, uh, some measure, uh, wherein uh, uh, this thing is done and it is being checked on a weekly basis to make the districts accountable. Uh, the, we will share with you the sir. We will share with you the data of all the four districts what they have done in last one year, three months, and uh, one month. Uh, mm -hmm. You can uh, then take a stock account. Uh, so with this, I once again welcome all the participants, and uh, uh, I again uh, thank Professor VK Sharma for joining us today uh, and sharing the whole uh, issue. And over to you, Kal Dinesh Vashish. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for giving us. Um, uh, uh, what we need to do actually on this uh, IDR and portal. As we said today, sir, um, uh, as per your directions, uh, it is the 27th uh, state uh, out of the 36 states and union territories we are uh, we have come to uh, Sikkim today. Uh, with this, I would uh, uh, request uh, Professor V.K. Sharma, uh, the Vice Chairman at the uh, Sikkim State Disaster Management Authority to welcome the participants of, from Sikkim State for this one day orientation uh, training program. and give his uh, suggestions and inputs on this IDR and portal, how we can uh, improve uh, and do much better in uh, handling the this kind of a database which is required in the emergencies. Professor V.K. Sharma, sir, over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Colonel Vashist and uh, uh, Major General uh, Bindal, sir, ED NIDM, uh, Colonel Vashist ji, uh, Balaji, who is coordinating this program, Mr. Figu Bhutia, who is our very active, very dynamic, uh, you know, additional director of the SSDMA, and uh, all the officers who are sitting, you know, I can, I cannot recognize them because everybody is uh, having mask. So thanks uh, that they are following, you know, all instructions given to them. And uh, we have limited number of people in the SSDMA, but each one is very active and uh, we have very, very good group, very dynamic group. So I can see, you know, all the officers sitting in the control room. Uh, the officers from uh, 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 our district uh, nodal officers, and uh, uh, all participants, thank you very much, you know, for uh, attending this uh, very important training, which is uh, organized by uh, NIDM. I compliment and I congratulate, you know, Bindalji, that uh, he has taken this subject so seriously that uh, uh, now each and every state will be covered, you know, Colonel Vasist was mentioning that uh, already, I think uh, 26, they have already covered and this is the 27th. So I think uh, this is a very big task, you know, which they are doing. We started this process long back and uh, uh, I think uh, the uh, stage is set by General Bindal and uh, he gave the importance of this subject because database, you know, this is the time of technology. And uh, India, we have reached, you know, a long way, you know, in science and technology, we have achieved a lot. If we compare ourselves with the reason, I think uh, India is doing very well in using science and technology. And one of the very important thing or very important aspect is this database. This we started from 2001 when Gujarat earthquake was there. And we realized that each and every equipment which was required, you know, for rescuing people, that was there in Gujarat. But we were not knowing. 
district authorities were not knowing that what we have many times you know we don't know that, uh, how many officers are trained so we could realize this thing in in gujarat that uh, you know they brought officers from other state to help you know at anjar at bhuj at uh, you know places which are uh, affected badly they brought people from uh, maharashtra our uh, very uh, important person who is with honorable chief minister now uh, he was brought you know to gujarat to assist some officers came from uh, odisha whereas you know gujarat is having very very competent officers but they were not knowing that who are, who is trained who is not trained who can be of some help the then chief minister you know he uh, you know took some of very senior people and they they were uh, posted you know at anjar at bachao at bhuj and uh, you know all, all these places they were camping when uh, Uh, shri modi ji you know take over uh, as chief minister uh, you know after some time he took it very seriously he said that i think the competent people should be there in th- those areas and this is very important so uh, he realized that we should have uh, full knowledge you know state should have knowledge that uh, uh, who can be deputed and who can do what kind of work so i think this data entry is this is not only for uh, uh, equipment and uh, you know what you have but the human resources also how much human resources trained by nidm how many t- uh, people you know trained by other organizations and sikkim is very fortunate that uh, uh, we were given chance you know in almost every training by nidm i remember in case uh, you know there is uh, less slot even then they accommodated our part spend and uh, i can say proudly that about 90% of our people they are today trained you know in uh, disaster risk reduction in different aspect but i think we should have this database that who is trained in what in community participation there are n number of subjects you know which is being dealt by the Uh, nidm and other institutions and i think this database should be with the ssdma and with the district that how many people are trained in which subject similarly the equipment general bindal has very rightly said that i think half of the battle is done in case you know that what resources you have today and he is right i fully agree with him that in case even one district is not cooperating then it is incomplete so i think sikkim i have no problem i will request all the four districts that they should update you know this database i will request for one more thing in sikkim and i will do it you know when i will discuss it with the our secretary who is very competent and uh, uh, very much interested you know in the, in the subject mr figu bhutia mr keshav and all these people who are uh, who have undergone you know this uh, process i will request them that this knowledge should go up to the block level because we have limited number of blocks and these blocks are having uh, you know computers and all these facilities so i think sikkim can become the first state where idea and you know this data database is not only with the district but with all the blocks and all the block development officers and uh, our people are very competent in case there is orientation to bdos i think they will be trained in this exercise and they will be knowing that what equipments are with the districts and what equipments are there in other uh, districts i will request to general bindal that after completing this exercise there is another exercise which is required that we should have uh, you know sort of sharing of this information inter state i mean for example sikkim uh, we should have database you know of west bengal we should have some database of assam we should have database of other states so that you know people we cannot bring people from other states 
but at joining state they have very important role and in case we can share our in this information database that will be very useful so after completing this exercise the whole all states of this country and union territories the next exercise can be the two adjoining states or three adjoining states so how you know they they can can they share this database which is not very uh, big thing this is one country you know so we we are not you know saving people only from sikkim in case something happen in west bengal sikkimis you know will be the first people who will help them and uh, go to west bengal and assist them so i think uh, information or database that should be available you know to uh, even to the adjoining state i once again you know compliment nidm for this uh, gigantic task why i am saying that it's not easy you know because people uh, they couldn't understand the significance of this i am saying that we should go in much more detail and uh, we have many many uh, things you know available but we don't know where it is and who own it i think sikkim is having a very big role because we have industries we have uh, some uh, you know tourism in uh, tourist industry so i think we should share this database with our uh, other industries also that in case there is anything happen any man made disaster or anything happen then uh, you know this information will be very useful to them so once they know the importance of this they will share that what they are having and uh, this i think this this exercise we should continue we should update every month you know that what uh, we are having and i fully agree with general bindal that this will be in case we have a full fledged database in case we have complete knowledge of what we have then half the battle uh, is is won so i think with these words i will i, I once again thanks to uh, colonel vashist and uh, balaji for uh, uh, coordinating this and uh, i request you know sikkim uh, officers that uh, take this thing you now very seriously and Uh, not restrict it only to the district but i think it it should go below the district and i think the first step will be the blocks and as uh, uh, i announced several times that sikkim is trying to go up to the panchayat level so we are going to train you know about 25 model panchayats we are making giving them training so later on we will share this database even with the panchayats so that they know that what uh, resources are with this state so thank you very much and uh, i wish you all the best thank you thank you colonel vashist over to okay. you sir thank you so much sir thank you sir so uh, with this sir uh, uh, we uh, as you have suggested sir that the sharing of information since the database is available but uh, uh, the sharing of information with the from the neighboring states especially to the state of sikkim being uh, uh, the location of the state uh, as uh, such so the sharing and uh, the other the geo locations and the sharing of database so it is a uh, part of our uh, next step uh, first step is the new website which we will be training uh, the sdma uh, officials today but the next steps as uh, has been directed by our executive director is uh, the geo location geo tagging of the inventory Uh, making this inventory uh, uh, visible to all the stakeholders in the state, and as you have suggested that it it can go up to the Panchayati Raj, and as on today also, sir, we have developed an API that I'll be briefing uh, to the participants later on. So how can this database be utilized by the uh, state officials so that this database can be shared with the with up to the block in the Panchayat levels as per your. Uh, 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 target and the uh, uh, dream as you have uh, suggested to the state of uh, sikkim as part of your uh, outreach plan uh, to, for the state uh, disaster management authority officials with this sir i would uh, st uh, start with the today's proceedings uh, the uh, uh, as per the agenda today sir we will be going uh, virtually live for this orientation training program uh, today 
so I would request all the state uh, uh, participants uh, to uh, listen to uh, what we have to uh, say. And also, it's, it is a format of a dialogue. We don't want it uh, that it should be uh, our uh, knowledge which should be shared. I, uh, I intend that the state uh, disaster management authority officials, because you are dealing with the emergency situations at Sikkim state and various districts. You know your geoclimatic conditions much better than as we sit in Delhi and we discussing on the IDRN portal. So I would request everyone to uh, pitch in with their suggestions, with their um, improvement improvements in the present IDRN portal as we show it today. And uh, I would request that when we leave today, we should be totally, we should be confident to work on this IDRN platform as we will be showing you today. So um, with me, I'll be giving a short uh, presentation on the IDRN portal and a uh, special mention to the districts, what, what is the state today uh, as on date about the database updations. And <clears throat> then we'll be going, uh, taking you live on the portal and uh, Balaji and my colleagues, Dharmendra, they will be taking you live uh, on uh, and will be uh, uh, training you on each dashboard of uh, the new IDR and portal. So I would request each one to uh, uh, suggest and to clear uh, clarify their doubts on the IDRN portal. So uh, with this, uh, uh, I would uh, share my presentation today. Uh, uh, first of all, I will start with the mandate given um, as we have, we are in uh, Corona times and the festive season is still on and we should always uh, uh, share uh, this. Uh, uh, we start with this slide only as mandated by the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Home Affairs. And so NIDM also propagate this uh, uh, for uh, safety against coronavirus. <clears throat> we, are, uh, we should wear uh, masks properly and at all times uh, wash your hands with soap and water uh, regularly. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth spe spe especially. Keep social distancing uh, and clean surface regularly uh, wherever we are using or touching that surface. So with this, I would start with my presentation on the IDRN. Next, please. IDRN, as we all know, uh, it is India Disaster Resource Network. Um, this IDRN is a network system. It's a networking system wherein the management of this network is with NIDM. However, this network is the most important link in this network is the district administrations, the line department, which are feeding to the district administrations. Only role of NIDM is to manage this data database portal. The major role is uh, with the district administration. I will come to that also. Resource in this slide, as we see, resource is um, the inventory, the critical inventory as we talk, and the manpower, the critical uh, equipment, who will run that equipment. So that manpower, a uh, specialized manpower, and that critical equipment formulates part of this particular portal. Next, please. Uh, the need was felt uh, uh, as uh, we have, uh, I've list, uh, as our executive director and Professor V.K. Sharma, the vice chairman, has just said that we are, as in India, we are a very uh, vast country with various geoclimatic conditions prone to various kinds of hazard. And so is the uh, state of Sikkim. Uh, we are prone to various kinds of hazards, the emergency situations, and the disasters. So we should be ready. And uh, with this readiness, we uh, uh, one of the most important is the inventory management. Where is the inventory lying, which will be utilized during the disasters? That specialist inventory, which is required. Normal items, normal use items are available in every household, every village, every district. But the specialist item or the critical equipment, where it is lying, where is the human resource which will uh, operate this critical equipment? Like, for example, if there is an ambulance, so where is the uh, ambulance located and where is its operator? Where is its driver of that ambulance there? So these two things, they formulate, these kind of things, they formulate part of this inventory management network system. Uh, next, please. A need was felt by the government of India, uh, wherein uh, uh, this disaster management uh, platform, wherein all the inventory could be placed at one place was, uh, and a network was thought out by the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs in 2004, along with the United Nations Disaster Management Program. And this was built as a systematic uh, inventory and uh, equipment with skilled human resources. 
in the year 2008, in the uh, in the month of June, was handed over to the NIDM, and since then NIDM is responsible for managing this network. The primary focus, as in the slide, is to enable the decision makers. As we said today, the decision makers is you, uh, the person you, uh, the DDMAs, the officials who are actually the decision makers during the times of emergency is you, and the decision makers uh, should have access to the equipment and the human resources required to combat any emergency situation is the primary focus of this IDRM portal. Next, please. Uh, this is the uh, infrastructure, uh, how this uh, IDRM portal has been laid out. And uh, if you see from top to bottom, uh, uh, the major stakeholders, if half of this, uh, 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 this picture is divided, is the districts and below. And half is the, with the NIC, and this portal is on NIC, managed by NIDM through internet. This is a, a portal which is right now available on internet, but we are going ahead with much more uh, better system in this so that offline mode can also be available in this particular network. So we are in development stage for this network. So as I have said earlier that your suggestions are most welcome. And since we are at the development stage, so your suggestions are required by us. So we are meeting today. We will clarify your doubts on the present system. But if in case you have some suggestions on the uh, on uh, on this IDR and portal, uh, so uh, we'll be more than grateful to uh, address those uh, suggestions and make this uh, portal more uh, resilient to the requirement of the state of Sikkim. So uh, it is on the NIC internet. All the security protocols are followed. I would. Uh, uh, here caution that this website being a database website and uh, so uh, the elements which are uh, uh, anti-government or anti uh, the enemical elements they are um, uh, likely to uh, hit it by, uh, through cyber attacks and it has happened in the past so uh, the database should always be kept secured the uh, password uh, and the login id should always be protected and should be kept with the person who is responsible and should not be shared with the person who is who should not have this password. In the past, we have had incidents wherein cyber attacks have happened, but due to the strong password policy which is being followed through NIC at NIDM, the, uh, this system could not be hacked. So I would request everyone to take care for this aspect also in this network because ARPS preparedness for disasters is one of the uh, one of the, uh, you know, it will be, uh, it will add on to the intelligence for the enemy uh, states, enemy countries for us. So we should be uh, privy to these kind of conditions also while we work on this platform. The line departments through various forms, from one to Alpha to Bravo to Charlie, uh, they uh, they uh, give the database to the districts. At the district administration is responsible to uh, to enter this data on this particular IDR and portal. The last. Uh, uh, person who can handle the data as per the present protocol is the district administration or the DDMMA, the officials from the DDMAs. So we, uh, the uh, due to the security concerns, due to the um, uh, 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 keeping that responsibility in check, so the uh, password is as per the government mandate is being handled and is being given to the uh, district administration only. Next, please. Uh, we will uh, this uh, form one to Alpha and to Charlie Bravo Charlie will be uh, um, they'll be uh, shown in detail by uh, my colleagues Balaji and Dharmender, and they will explain you what are these forms and how do you enter the data on this particular IDR and portal. All the thirty six states and union territories uh, are registered on this portal, and they are entering their database. Uh, out of 740 districts, 717 districts are uh, on IDRM portal. Total items, uh, 36 categories have been divided and uh, 289 items as on date are present on this IDRM portal. This is an ever changing, ever evolving list of items. There's a high powered committee under the uh, NDMA with NIDM, NDRF and the state machineries and MHA. We formulate the list here in New Delhi, and this is the list we'll be sharing to. Uh, we we have shared on the IDR portal to be updated by the government, by the public sector undertakings, and the, by the private sector. As uh, Professor uh, uh, Sharma just said, that uh, we have a lot of industries in Sikkim state, uh, and so the database they will also be having many items out of this list of 289, which will formulate part of this IDR and portal because in times of disasters. Um, we, uh, we have an inventory which is lying with public sector or private doesn't matter. It is 
uh, we are uh, this inventory is available so at times of disaster uh, from wherever it can be drawn is uh, always an asset at the, uh, to save many human lives at that particular time next please uh, this is the list for uh, this is the uh, status for the sikkim state as we see today all these district four districts uh, east north uh, south and west have been uh, shown here in the past one year from 1st October to 2009 to 31st October 2019 in the left side of this table and then on the right 1st October 20 to 31st October 20. So if we see that in the past one month there has been no entry on the IDRN portal from your side. However, in past one year uh, there has been um, uh, quite an entry in the uh, portal but the public sector undertakings in the private sector has not been touched. West district, especially if I, if uh, the other three districts are doing, uh, I don't foresee any reason why the West district is not doing. And in case if there is any problem for the West district, we are here and we are the same organization. And we don't want to pinpoint that which district is working or which district is the best in entering the database. But um, as I have said earlier, that in times of disasters, uh, this inventory is going to save lives and. Um, where to draw uh, because it is not uh, always that uh, the west district would be uh, is more prone or the east district is more prone to disasters disaster can happen at any time and at any point of time so in case east district is effective so the items and inventory can be seen in west district and can be rushed to west east district at the times of disaster so this inventory is for us also and for the others also in the state as a Professor Sharma has just suggested that even the uh, neighboring states inventory should be made visible. So in our case, we are not um, uh, maintaining our inventory only. So how can we expect uh, uh, the uh, neighboring states to uh, uh, do it? So uh, uh, we should start uh, updating this inventory and any problems, anything, because we are same organization, you, we, we are part of the disaster management as per the uh, orders of the government of India. So anything where you are facing any issues, any problems, we are here to help you and that too 24 seven. It is not uh, any time bound process that eight hours we are working. We are working here for 24 seven Balaji and Dharmendra. They are available on mobile. We'll be sharing mo their mobile numbers with you also in case of any problem, you should get back to us. But this figure should, uh, this database should, uh, we should start entering. I'll show you the status of uh, the uh, uh, country overall because this COVID has given us special um, uh, now uh, a situation wherein we can meet virtually also. We, we never knew that we can uh, meet this way and we can uh, work out the IDRN portal and we could improve upon the IDRN portal through these meetings also. So you are the 27th state as I have said earlier uh, out of the 36 states. We have received a lot of uh, uh, suggestions from other states wherever we have met and uh, through this orientation capsule program. Next please. So I would request you also to suggest us how can we improve and how can we improve the database entry. This is for the entire uh, Indian context that uh, where IDRN was and where it is today in 2020. So you can see yourself the database and it is quite heartening uh, to see uh, the states entering and especially it has uh, uh, reached this peak uh, when we have gone live and when these orientation training programs have started. and. Now the states um, and the districts have uh, uh, got a knack of how to work on this IDRN portal after we have gone um, to them. And in any case, if the district feel that you need a special uh, training on this particular portal, we are there to help you as a district also, we can take uh, uh, this orientation training uh, for only one district or for only one person also, we are ready to take a, a, a orientation capsule training program, but we need this chart to progress as it is being doing in 2020. We are in November only and you can see the peak what we have achieved from last five years. So I would request Sikkim State to also work on uh, updation of the database and to see it uh, that in times of disasters, it is only going to save the lives, this portal, this inventory and this resource. Next. Uh, this is the API, as I, I have said earlier, that I'll brief you on uh, what is in, in this API. This is uh, uh, API was developed when Kerala state has come to us to, uh, after the floods that uh, they need this database to make their own inventory management uh, software or inventory management uh, database 
basically they wanted to see the database and they wanted to make an offline system of their own in the Kerala state. And uh, after that, after we received a request from that state, we have developed this API and now this API is available for all the states to be utilized in their for making their own and utilizing the database which an IDM gets from all the states and UTs. So you can also make um, uh, the neighboring states of uh, Bihar and uh, the uh, Odisha, they are also in the process of developing their own database system management systems. So you can utilize it and in case you want a training how you would like to utilize this API. So you can come back to us, we'll uh, give you a special training on this API, how you can utilize this. So it is there and it is available. This database can be utilized for making your own plans in the district state disaster management. Next, please. Uh, this is the dashboard uh, which Balaji would be taking and Dharminder, they will be speaking to you on this and they'll be taking you live and they'll be explaining you each and every button on this new portal. This is a new website. As I've said on 1st of June, 2020, this was, uh, this was made live and we'll be uh, taking a training on this today. Next. And I would expect your suggestions on this particular uh, portal, what we are showing you today. This is the, these are the contact details. You can see the mobile number also uh, we have given, uh, the websites, emails, you can come back to us on any, any of these platforms. Only request is that uh, the updation of database should now pick up from the Sikkim state. With this, I would now request Balaji and Dharmendra to take you live on this uh, a portal and explain all the integrity of this uh, particular portal. Thank you very much, Balaji. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much for your insightful uh, uh, presentation about this new idea and portal. Uh, particularly, I once again I thank I thanks to uh, Professor uh, B K Sharma, sir, uh, Vice Chairman of Sikkim State Disaster Management Authority, and uh, our Executive Director, uh, Major General Manish Kumar, also. So myself, Balaji, I am uh, I'm, uh, National Institute of Disaster Management, New Delhi Headquarter. My colleague, Mr. Dharmendra, is also available. So now I will go. Uh, I'm going to take hardly uh, 20 minutes. I request to all the uh, state and district officials, uh, please carefully watch my live online live demonstration. So I'll go. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, how to uh, register the new department. How to how to delete the existing department. So, how to update the resource inventory and what are all the changes we have made from uh, we have made in this new idea and portal? What is the, what are the new functionalities available in this new idea and portal? Since uh, see, we have very uh, participation is very limited, but uh, participation is almost only ten. But this uh, for the re the reason behind of focusing this particular idea and portal state wise, we want to we want to get each and every district. We want to get feedback or suggestions or any complaint regarding this idea and portal feedback from the each and every district of pan india that is the reason behind of this particular idea and portal we are focusing each and every state throughout pan throughout india so uh, sikkim is the uh, 28th state uh, unit territory of this uh, uh, india out of 36 states and uts so if you have any suggestion or query or any feedback any complaint regarding this idea and portal you may please kindly write in the chat box so after my session i will be go, uh, we will uh, i'll come back to the uh, uh, question and answer session Whatever you have the suggestion or feedback or complaint, uh, you may please uh, admit from your side after my session. So you may please uh, register with that. Definitely we will take high, on high priority for, uh, on high priority your request and suggestion and feedback. So now I will uh, no, I will be going to share my screen. Uh, Mr. Dharmendra, I hope my screen is visible, right? Um, right, it's visible. Okay, uh, see, this is the new idea and portal. I request to all the district and state officials, please carefully watch my session. So I will be going to uh, take how what what are the what are the functionality which we have developed in this new idea and portal. So I hope you this is the URL of this new idea portal. Idea and dot in. Uh, this is the new this is the new URL of this idea and portal. This is the home page. This is the dash. This is the home page of this new idea and portal. Here you can see the total number of states UT is registered. There out uh, there are uh, 36 state UT has registered in this idea and portal from the state of Andaman to uh, West Bengal. So second would be Sikkim. Second would be total number of district. Uh, there are 740 district we have found Pan India. 
out of 740 districts, 717 districts has been registered. Here you can see the red color and uh, black color, the difference between the red color and black color. Red color is the district not yet registered with us from the Arunachal Pradesh. So black color is the district is already registered with uh, already registered in this new idea and portal. So now we will see the Sikkim state, what are the districts as registered, not registered. Sikkim state is only there are four districts. So almost four districts as registered. If there is any new district from the state of uh, Sikkim, I request the st state uh, state officials and uh, state disaster management authority, please kindly uh, kindly uh, kindly write an email to admin at idr not team. If there is any new district created from your uh, uh, Sikkim state, definitely we will help you to create the new user and password. So next would be total number of items. There are 289 items which we have already enabled in this new idea and portal. Out of this 289 item, you can't update or enter any of the uh, additional item. If you have if you have any suggestion regarding this new additional item, you may please always write an email to admin.idr.nac.in or you may please send the email. Please send a letter or you may please WhatsApp me or email me at any time. Definitely, we will help you to. We will help you to. Uh, uh, we will help you to add those particular additional item in this new idea motor. If definitely, if definitely, uh, 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 we, uh, we here we have the committee in the headquarter. So with the consideration of National Disaster Management Authority and the Ministry and the National Disaster Response for. And the NIDM of uh, competent authority will examine your additional item. If it is really helpful, definitely during the uh, uh, any disaster, definitely we will uh, integrate that additional item into this idea and portal. It's not only this 289 uh, item is available in this idea and portal. So here you can see the gas cutter too from the page 15 page. We have uh, uh, given the paging here. You can see the each and every page for the uh, for the inventory item. So no need to check each and every page for this idea and portal will give you the very simple, very user friendly. For if you want to search whether mask is available, you, you, you straight away search in the search box M alphabet. It will automatically show all the M alphabet all the m alphabet under the inventory item see here you can see the here you can see the motor boats motor launch likewise mri mri uh, mri uh, and minibus metator so you can see the mask also you can see in the mask so that is what this new idea portal will give you the uh, uh, very user friendly so mask so you search mask so mask is available in this idea portal so you may update or you can enter the any uh, data of the mass it is comes under the critical supplies so uh, next would be the data status report so i hope you all aware we are updating each and every month the status status report of the state wise and also district wise here you can see the state wise report on annexure one from the andaman to west bengal you can see the Sikkim state uh, last three months before last three months there are two record has been updated last month zero i request to the uh, uh, Sikkim state and uh, district level officer who is attending this particular online training program please make some of the entry please make some of them so that do, so that it will definitely helpful during this any of the disaster so that you no need to worry about the inventory item so you can one if you have the internet connectivity with your end we, we, uh, in, at your end you can always search in this at that particular inventory item where it is located you can easily we can easily contact the uh, uh, that particular disaster manager at the time of uh, uh, at the time of any disaster at the time of any disaster the annexure 2 would be the detailed report of the district wise report here you can see the uh, Sikkim state east north south west the detailed report each and every district what are the uh, uh, data has been updated from the north and south west there is none no data no data has been updated from the last three and one month so this particular i hope you all uh, might be uh, aware uh, um, uh, this particular idea and portal focusing on the uh, state wise say state wise, we no need to uh, we are we are, um, we are not inter uh, we are not mentioning the particular district or particular state but we are requesting this importance of this idea and portal how it can be utilized in future and also at a, at a useful level at your end. At your, at your end. So I request to the state uh, district of North, South, West, please uh, uh, get, uh, get in touch with us at any time. If you have any doubt or if you have any doubt or clarification, definitely we will help you. 
so i am going to take next uh, 15 minutes uh, hardly so carefully watch my session so after my session you may please give any uh, uh, give direction or uh, uh, train it to your line department accordingly accordingly they will update from there and also you may please kindly monitor this uh, particular idea and portal at least weekly or monthly once so next would be uh, country wide uh, country, country wide query for resource inventory here you can see the uh, here you can see the resource inventory which is available uh, which is available uh, at your end at your end so i'm going to select the sikkim state so next would be the uh, district so once if you select the state sikkim state it will automatically list out the all the uh, district if you want to select multiple district you can select multiple if you want to select all you can select all if you want to want to know only one district you can select only one district that is what this new id new portal is giving you the uh, uh, made the uh, user friendly so i am going to select all the district so what are the data they are update uh, they have updated in the last uh, one year last four year so the next would be the category so there are out uh, this 289 item we have classified three type of category one is equipment another one is human resource another one is medical supplies so equipment related items comes under equipment human related items uh, comes under human related and uh, medical supplies related items comes under medical uh, medical supply professor uh, professor uh, uh, vikya sharma sir uh, vikya sharma sir uh, said uh, the human related item who are all trained uh, who are all trained uh, who are all trained at the district level and the state level so there also is the, the, that point also you can you can enter uh, while updating this while updating this idr and portal so for example the live i am going to select all the inventory item so likewise once if you select the in category it will automatically list out all the inventory item for example if you want to only know the tractor whether it is available you search in the t automatically it will automatically it will display automatically it will uh, uh, filter the tractor item see uh, i i want to uh, uh, i want to search tractor so i am going to select only tractor i have only selected only one item see here you can see only north district has been updated only north district has been updated from the state of sikkim so tra tractor only one number of quantity is available see so source is psc unit the nhpc limited nhpc limited this is the address this is the contact person name this is the contact mobile number this is the email id see here you can see the updation is required the last updation has been 2017 each and every ac one uh after one after two uh, see it is uh uh 2017 years done the updation after one year it will automatically expire it will automatically expire i request to the district and state of the please kindly make sure whether this tractor is currently available uh, available in the uh, avail uh, uh, available in the uh, state or not available in this particular uh, department or not uh, available in this particular department or not that is what this particular uh, uh, idr portal will helps you to or uh, uh, helps you to identify the inventory item in the, in, in the particular uh, uh, in the particular department or in the district in the emergency time at the time of emergency so next would be about idr and i hope you all uh, understand how this uh, idr and is functioning what is the responsibility of state what is the responsibility of district so what is the responsibility of line department uh, our, 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 our respected uh, uh, joint director left to dinesh sindar was just given the insightful presentation detailed presentation about this idr and portal i hope you all might be understand uh, and the next would be resource inventory for for searching the resource inventory we given the dedicated separate page also page uh, for the user uh, for the user access for the user for the user easy access you can search in this page also what i have searched in the home page home page country wide query for resource inventory next would be item detail uh, this is i have just uh, shown the demo for what is how to search the inventory in this idr portal next would be user manual so we given the user manual in the pdf format also i request to the district officials from the uh, each and every district official from the nodal officer uh, nodal officer please circulate this particular form to the all the line department whatever the department comes under the control of district and also you may please approach psu uh, psu unit and private unit honorable uh, 
ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆల్సో హాస్ ఇన్సిస్టెడ్ అండ్ ఆనరబుల్ హోమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆల్సో హాస్ ఇన్సిస్టెడ్ టు యూటిలైజ్ దిస్ పోర్టల్ యాజ్ మచ్ ఎస్ పాసిబుల్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ విత్ ద కొలాబరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద పిఎస్ యూనిట్ అండ్ ప్రైవేట్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఇండస్ట్రీ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ద గవర్నమెంట్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ సో రిక్వెస్ట్ సో హియర్ యూ కెన్ సీ ద పీడిఎఫ్ ఫార్మేట్ పీడిఎఫ్ ఫార్మేట్ దెర్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఇన్వెంటరీస్ వీ హ్ క్లాసిఫైడ్ అండర్ ద వాట్ ఆర్ ద uh category we have classified and uh, what are the category we have classified see here you can see the category name uh, 36 category we have classified see category is cut, uh, cut, uh, cutter category under the cutter category these are the items we have we have listed out in the standard list with the high power committee with the, with, with the help of high, high power committee uh, gas cutter cold cutter bolt cutter so likewise you can see the all the list of inventory item around 289 around 289 items around 289 items so next would be in the data collection format the, the, uh, most of the district and state is getting confusion what is the difference of this particular form form 1 form 2a form 2b uh, see since this portal is able to update in the online or uh, make the entry in online but then what is the purpose it's very simple we will be go, we will be share the user id password to the only district level authority we won't share the user id password to the line department any private industry psu industry and the department we have the user id password for only state level uh, sorry district level each and every pan india each and every district have the separate dedicated user id password the district administration the district headquarters from the nodal officer district disaster management authority uh department uh, nodal officer has to circulate this uh, circulate this form to all the line department once the line department fill it out the form as per the, as per the, our user manual uh, inventory item list you have to make the entry in the portal you make the entry in the portal so that the during any disaster or any emergency time anybody anyone can anyone can uh, anyone can be with this inventory item and easily they can capture easily they can uh, identify the uh, uh, inventory resource in this uh, uh, in your particular state in your particular uh, uh, within your uh, district so in the form one is to, uh, needs to be filled department details uh, department name and address correct person email id and mobile number is mandatory source whether it is a government they have to select government so there is a psu they have to select psu whether it is a private they have to select private most of the uh, district is making the mistake of selecting the uh, industry type i request to the uh, concerned district officials and state official who is attending this particular online training program please make sure whether the industry type is government psu or private as per the industry type you have to select the correct appropriate type so don't uh, don't uh, mistakenly select all the department is uh, government so most of the district is making the mistake of while on, while updating the while updating the data in online uh, selecting government that i'll come back and i'll explain where all the data entry operator or the uh, uh, district officials are making the mistake of the while entering the data see these, this is the data collection format form 2a form 2 form see form 2a form 2b form 2c there are three type of form is available almost this three type the three form is similar nothing is difference between the form 2a 2b 2c 2 2b 2c the difference is only for easily for easily identify the inventory item we classified 2a is only equipment related item so the line department has to fill in this form only 2a is equipment related item 2b is Uh, skilled human related item 2c is uh, critical supplies related item so that the uh, so that the uh, so, so so that the district so, so that the data entry operator at the district level administration nodal officer easily identify the resource inventory resource inventory in the category way so no need to check uh, each and every page so where human re- re- which page is human resources available and which side is human resources available where tractor is available so no need to check each and every page so easily he can identify the form 2a would be the equipment related item will uh, only easily uh, 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 form 2a will will help you the identify the equipment related item that is what this uh, this uh, three uh, form is we have classified uh three form is classified next would be login i hope all the district official and uh, all the district official have the dedicated user id password for the sikkim uh, sikkim state 
I, if you don't have the user ID password for your district, I request to please kindly WhatsApp me or email me admin dot id or not ns dot email me. I will send you the dedicated. I will send you the user ID password to the all the concerned district. So once at least once again log in this portal and have a look how this how the dashboard we have developed, how to update, how to upload, how to delete, how to register the new department. Then you will get the clarity of this. I uh, uh, clarity of this idea and portal so it is very simple it is very user friendly so uh, it's very self understandable only it is not quite it's not very uh, difficult uh, for uh, understanding the updation of this idea and portal so i'm going to show the demo for uh, demo for how to register new department under your district how to uh, delete the department how to update the inventory item how to delete the inventory item how to modify the existing inventory item so next to hardly uh, 10 minutes I am going to uh, take. I request to the district officer, please kindly carefully watch this session. So, uh, uh, in, in the chat box, I will, in the chat box, I missed out the uh, uh, YouTube link also, uh, missed out the YouTube link. See, this particular program is, uh, uh, this particular program is telecasting on uh, YouTube live. YouTube, uh, YouTube live. In the chat box, I am going, uh, I mean, I have mentioned in the URL, URL. If you have any doubt or any suggestion, if you want to see this online training program after some time or at uh, at any time, you may please uh, click this link and save it to your mobile or your uh, your end. You can watch at any time. You can watch at any time. Definitely, it will help you uh, to uh, I uh, understand this portal. So. Um, Understand this word. This is the dashboard. Once if you log in, you will get this dashboard. Edit DC DM detail. I request to the district officer, please kindly update the correct DC district collector, district uh, magistrate detail who is presently uh, pre pre presently in charge of this your particular uh, district. Because when we are trying to connect to the district headquarters, the, the mobile number is not working, telephone is not functioning, email ID is not proper, uh, proper format, email, e, e, through email also no response, there is no uh, correct uh, nodal officer name here mentioned. So we were struggling to uh, struggling for uh, connect uh, with uh, the concerned district officer. So request to the district officer, please kindly make sure each and every month are the ones the, uh, the nodal officer or district collector is changed or may, uh, transferred somewhere. You may please time to time please update the correct DCDM detail. So next would be item code we, for easy understanding. We given the inside login also for 289 items. So next to data status report, we are working on it, whatever the, the uh, so if you want to know the st status report for the two month, three month, or your customized way, one year, from the state wise, district wise, so in the Excel format, uh, PDF format, that process, that uh, model we are integrating, that we are, that model we are in the process of integrating, we have almost developed, we are, we, we are in the process of integrating that model in the live portal, so it may take next 15 to one month, or after the month, after the month, you definitely that you can download the status report at any time. So district database, district database, here you can see the record uploaded, 615 number of item identified 202 and uh, record uploaded 615 is uh, from the uh, 2016 to till date. Till date 2016 June 1 to till date 615 and record has been updated. So number of item identified is out of 289 items, 202 item has been uploaded, updated in this particular district, in this particular district. So for demo, we given the Delhi and the New Delhi district, but this is not actual data of the New Delhi uh, district. So don't get any confusion. This was the demo purpose. We, may, we were mentioned in New Delhi district. That's it. That's the difference of this number of data uploaded and a number of items identified. And the user manual also inside the login we are given. And the training video we are working on it. Whatever the new changes and the new integration, we will be definitely uh, upload and we will uh, uh, we are working on it. And data collection format we are we have uh, uploaded the inside the inside la, inside uh, module also. So you may please download and submit your online department. So notification we are working on it. Whatever data has been expired, we will uh, we will uh, give you the notification in this uh, part. So next is most important thing. Uh, I request to the all the district and state official. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, 
I, I I thank I thank once again all the district and state officials uh, is uh, watching this particular sparing your valuable time in this uh, uh, in this uh, new idea uh, understanding about this new idea and portal. So now I am going to uh, explain how to register new department, how to uh, up, uh, update the resource inventory in the in the particular department, how to modify the department, how to modify the resource inventory, how to delete, how to delete. So I am going to take hardly next seven minutes so you may please kindly you may please carefully watch my session so uh, uh, i'd record if you if the if in this particular uh, district the uh, new department is for example revenue for example any new new private industry is want to register you you have to click add record you have to click add record you have to click add record for example say uh, Sikkim. Private Limited is one of the one, one in, for, for a demo. I given the Sikkim Private Limited. So this Sikkim Private Limited wants to uh, you have to register. You have to register in your district. You, so you have to click Add Record. You have to click Add Record. Uh, the one this is the only one time registration. So no need to register each and every time. Once if you register, no need to uh, uh, register each and every time. So first time you have to register for Sikkim State, uh, Sikkim Private Limited, we want to, I'm going to register. So Sikkim Private Limited Department name, address under Sikkim, 100 person, uh, contact person, uh, uh, Venget, Venget, contact person, Venget, designation manager, whatever the uh, designation you can mention in the designation address is Sikkim and pin code, uh, pin code double one, triple zero one. Mobile number is the mobile mobile number is available. You can mention mobile number also. If a telephone number, if the if a telephone number is available, you can mention the telephone number also 2343-8289. So the email if email ID is available, you can mention email ID also wenget.nic.in or gmail.com. Gmail.com. This is mandatory email ID. So this is the most important thing where all the data entry operator district is making the mistake of selecting the source. I hope you all aware this is the private industry, seeking private industry, private industry. It, you have to select as per the industry type private. So most of the district is making the mistake of selecting government. So when we are extracting the data, the different type of government or private and PSU, we were getting the false data of uh, false data from uh, from our database. So uh, I hope all the district official make sure whether it is a uh, what type of industry. So this is the private industry. I'm selecting private submit once if you submit details saved successfully department is saved department is registered successfully. No need to register next time. If in case if you want to update some of the entries after few days or after one month or after three months. So if you want to modify the data, you can modify the department detail at any time. So once if you registered, you will get the clicker to add inventory record. So once this is the most important thing. So now you are going to update the resource inventory, resource inventory, he, see item. So you, I hope you all aware, this is the user manual, as per the user manual only, as per the user manual list only, we can, we can able to update. Other than this list, you can't update. For example, I'm going to update basket. So type B alphabet, it will automatically list out all the B alphabet resource inventory. I'm going to update, uh, uh, I'm going to update basket. So quantity, number of, uh, num uh, unit is also, unit is uh, obviously it is a number, quantity, uh, 12 quantity is available, location. The whatever the location you can you may mention the exact location. I request the district officer, please kindly mention the exact location. For a demo, I given the Shikim. I request to please update the exact location of the particular basket where it is available. So item if your item description matlab, whatever is there any type basket, whether it's a plastic basket or steel basket or aluminum basket, or is there any type of uh, and uh, 50 liter uh, and uh, 10 liter or 12 liter, 5 liter, uh, 25 liter basket. Uh, basket. Uh, likewise, you can mention, uh, likewise, you can mention. So, I'm going to mention this steel, ba uh, uh, steel basket. So, that is what this customized description also we given so that easily the at the type of search, uh, query weight search in inventory you can easily identify. So, submit. So now one in one resource I have updated basket I have updated. Now if you want to update multiple, you can always type uh, next uh, after submission. Uh, next this page will show. Uh, you can type uh, next also. So I am going to update now heavy truck. 
heavy track i am going to update heavy track i it is it is also unit is number obviously the heavy track i have 20 number of quantity so location is sikkim i request to the district officer please mention the exact location exact location so heavy track is there any type of heavy track if there any type of uh, track is there any uh, specialization of the company asoka leland or any mahindra whatever the type of whatever the track company or whatever the different uh, 100 so 50 tire 25 tire or uh, it's a 30 tire like this you can mention in the item description we we so so that they so that the difference so that the the, the so the, so that the importance of this particular inventory item can easily identify the disaster manager at the time of rescue time this will help uh, okay, this this uh, this big heavy truck will help this small heavy truck will help he can easily identify if any particular uh, uh, contact person for this heavy drag, that also you can mention in this uh, in this in the description so the heavy truck i'm going to update this is a 50 tire 50 tire truck submitted i hope you all are aware there are two inventory item i have updated so now now come back so after 10 days after one month or after uh, after uh, six months you want to update more items otherwise you want to modify the item maybe there may be a chance for truck quantity might be reduced there may be a chance for basket uh, quantity might be reduced uh, there may be chance for this seeking private limited not interested to register with the idr and portal you want to delete the department so after after few days what you have to do you have to click modify record once if you click modify record here you can see the all the list of registered department which is under this particular district c here you can see si kkim sikkim private limited i'm selecting sikkim private limited here you can see the uh, department detail uh, department detail uh, if you want to modify you can modify the department detail see if you want to modify the any of the uh, contact person or mobile number telephone number uh, email id you can mention you can uh, you can modify at any time if you want to delete you may please delete are you sure want to delete the department yes see this department can't be deleted because item dependent on this uh, department it means already i hope you all aware there are two items is already already we have up, up, updated in this department firstly you have to delete the items then only it is possible to delete the department that is that is what this feature we have added so uh, see here you can see the item list and add item if you want to add more new item click add item click add item click add item for example i want to add ct scan now so i am going i am searching ct scan so number is quantity and quantity is 45 quantities available location is key uh, is there any different type you can mention different type i am going to mention mri ct scan and submit see this is what this uh, new idea portal is developed very uh, very 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 user friendly very easy easy understandable and at any time at any point of uh, your 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 time you can update you can delete you can modify so i have updated three number of items after some time after few days the, you just uh, it's uh, just assumption so now you have to check item list here you can see, see the item list see there are three items we have updated ct scan heavy truck basket so if you want to modify you can modify. see for example this quantity is reduced quantity is reduced see you can modify at any time for example 30 quantity is only available submit See, 30 quantities, uh, it is automatically reflected in the portal, 30 quantity. It is a private industry. It is a private industry. You see, data sources, uh, data entered 5 November 2020. That's all. If you want to delete the item, you can delete the item at any time. So, uh, basket is not available in this department. So, I have deleted. I, uh, I have deleted. So, item is deleted. That's it. So, this is the most core function of this idea and portal. Next is department wise report. If you want to see the department wise report, you can say you can see all the registered department wise report. So Sikkim, I have selected Sikkim Private Limited. So there are two items uh, in this particular department. That's it. Data is report. If you want to know the status of data is report from the one November to uh, sixth November, submit uh, the, the in, during this one November to sixth November. These are the four items has been updated. See. For example, 4th November is updated West Bengal Private Limited, uh, crane and heavy truck, uh, four type, gas cutter also updated. From today date, Sikkim, uh, heavy truck and CT scan is updated. These are the, uh, th so this way you can understand what, how many records we have uploaded in the date wise.
district report is this is a consolidated report whatever the data whatever the data uh, you have uploaded in this particular department you can easily you can easily identify the, you can easily identify the consolidated report of this uh, consolidated report of this in this login next is uh, show item detail for easy understanding for easily identifying the item detail inside the module also we given the uh, as much as possible in the all the ways possible way all the possible ways in the tabs because so that the user easily identify uh, so this is the item we can enter other than this we can't enter so that they can easily identify because most of the district officially is getting confused sir we are we want to update uh, for example uh, uh, um, for example uh, light for example take light they want to uh, update light uh, focus light focus light uh, focus light sir we are unable to update the focus light sir this portal is a resource inventory resource uh, uh, disaster related inventory resource updation portal why we are unable to update sir they were asking the question so that but, but it's not mean by that uh, it's not mean by this portal is uh, not functioning well. It's not like that. We have classified already 218 in item. So that is what this inside the module, each and everywhere, they can easily identify. So these are the item is available. These are the item can update. So next is contact us page, addition of the new item. Whatever you have the suggestion, feedback, or complaint, you may please, you may please register, register in the page and submit. Definitely we will review your uh, courier complaint or suggestion. The next, I have logged out and I am I, I now this is a contact us. Here you can see my WhatsApp number and my landline number, my our uh, uh, official email ID. This is our official address. Uh, whatever your suggestion or feedback or complaint, you may please uh, write a letter or WhatsApp me or email me or call telephonically. You can contact at any time. There is no point of. Uh, there is no point you need to no need to hesitate from your end for any doubt or any clarification so that is what this uh, particular idea uh, portal we have uh, uh, we have made it we we are in the process of uh, making uh, more utilization uh, more uh, we are in the process of making this portal more utilization more uh, utilization so now uh, the time to uh, discuss the question and answer session is there any doubt or clarification or any suggestion or any complaint this particular idea and portal i request to sikki sdma or any uh, uh, anyone of from the each district uh, please kindly unmute your mic please raise your question i request to the uh, state officials and a district official please kindly unmute your mic whatever you have the suggestion or feedback any complaint where you are uh, not getting my point or any doubt you may please ask you may please unmute your mic from your end and ask and register with this definitely we will take on high priority your request your, we will take uh, we will integrate as per your suggestion and feedback for fo for uh, focusing up the focus for focusing for this particular online training program uh, uh, state wise we want to sensitize this idea and portal to the pan india each and every district level they have to uh, uh, they uh, we uh, we want to sensitize so that the district might get the aware about uh, might be aware about this particular uh, idea and portal so we have next uh, hardly say eight minutes, eight to seven minutes. I request to the district official from uh, district official uh, each one, uh, each one from the uh, uh, north, east, west, uh, south. Uh, please kindly unmute your mic. Whatever your suggestion or feedback, you may please uh, register with us. From uh, Sikkim uh, uh, SDMA, uh, is there any doubt or clarification, suggestion, feedback from your end? Can you please respond? Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, so, sir, I want to ask that, like, uh, uh, after entering the resource, uh, so mm -hmm. is, is there uh, is that that uh, resource will automatically uh, get deleted after a certain period of time, or it will stay there, sir? No, 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 no. It won't delete unless uh, until unless from your end deletion. It will only expect the detail will give you only expect the data is expired after one year. That's it. But you have to update, you have to delete from your end. Yes. It, okay. It won't delete automatically. We won't delete automatically even from our end. 
without permission without your intervention your permission the data won't be deleted uh, so we'll just go through this uh, portal and uh, if any doubt we will be contacting you sir definitely sir definitely sir definitely if the not only this particular uh, online training program if you have any uh, suggestion or feedback from your end you may please always uh, always write an email to always write email to admin.idr.nac.in or you may please uh, send a let, uh, write a letter to our office uh, good office definitely we will uh, uh, respond to you at any time sir so, one thing was, so like uh, we have uh, in like the old old portal we have already uh, entered some data so okay. uh, will that we have to delete all this data and again and, and do a new entry no, or no 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 no, no no sir that that last four year data is available in this new idr and portal if the data is still available you may please once again modify or update from your end if the data is not available that particular department you may please delete okay thank you sir is anyone from uh, district of east west south uh, hello sir i am from uh, north district yeah yeah tell me sir uh, actually i wanted to clarify on one thing uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the during the filling of the details of uh, district collector there is, there mm -hmm. are some photo, uh, there are some spaces like uh, the contact details mm -hmm. Since, uh, most of our landlines don't work usually most of the yes, time yes balaji hello yes sir yes sir hello yes sir yes sir you are audible sir course. yes sir yes sir tell me sir Yes. What I wanted to suggest or ask was that uh, that would be mandatory because uh, whenever we enter the uh, landline number, most of the time the landline won't work out here. So if it was okay, optional, okay, sir. no, to, sir, that would be yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for your kind uh, uh, suggestion. And definitely we will remove that mandatory. De definitely we will remove uh, our telephone number mandatory for that field. Particularly, any other uh, suggestions or any other uh, uh, questions on on IDRN? It's Before... a humble request. Yes, sir. It's a humble request from National Ship Disaster Management. If there is any question or suggestion, the uh, uh, you may please unmute from your end. So we have next three to four minutes hardly. We are in the end of the uh, we are in the point of the end 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 the meeting. Okay, Balaji, if there are none, uh, people can uh, 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 the officials can respond. Uh, uh, can con connect with us uh, uh, through email or through the mobile phones as we have shared the contact details for, uh, with all. Uh, with this, yes. uh, I would, uh, in case uh, 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 Professor VK Sharma is not seen, I think he's, uh, he's disconnected, I think. And uh, no issues. Yes. And I, with this, I take this uh, opportunity to thank each one from the state of Sikkim all the districts who have uh, uh, taken out their uh, time from their schedule to listen to us here in an, at NIDM. I thank each one of you for participating in this one day uh, virtual training program on India Disaster Resource Network. Um, I would like to conclude with only one request that uh, the database uh, uh, is uh, quite very important in uh, uh, handling and in managing the disasters in times of emergency. And we have had examples in the past wherein this inventory uh, resource management uh, network has helped uh, uh, many states uh, for managing the disasters. So I would request you to update your database, to update your entries on the uh, uh, IDRN portal, to open the public sector undertakings and the private sector to uh, feed in uh, their data, their inventory in this database. So with this, I would uh, thank each one of you and uh, I would like to conclude today's session in case you need any more further clarification or any suggestions you may connect with us at any point of time. Thank you very much to each one of you. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind.